Hi, my name is Naomi and I'm the creator of Two and or Four, who makes handmade products for your two-legged loved ones and your four-legged loved ones. Um, today, I am going to be working on um, a special project. Um, I have a friend who has two daughters and um, they have American Girl dolls. And for one of the daughter's birthdays back in April, I made her some outfits. I also did them for her sister because I couldn't see sending just one of them um, a present. So I sent it to both. So now it is the other daughter's birthday coming up and she would like to have a spy themed party, which I think is so cool. So I am going to be working on some clothes for her American Girl doll to go along with those with that theme. So one of the items is a trench coat. Um, in this case, they call it a Berkshire um, coat and um, or Berkshire. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, and that one is by Apple Totes and Company, the pattern. And also, I would like to make a um, fedora hat to go with it. And um, I have a pattern for that one also. Now, these patterns are um, linked below. Um, and then the last item that I'd like to make is a jumpsuit. And I'm going to do it in all black because, of course... Spies should have on, you know, black to fade into the night. And um, those will be the three things that um, I will uh, get done. So the first thing we're going to work on is the coat. Because um, I think that's the most complicated of all of the, of the three patterns. So um, I printed my pieces. I've purchased the pattern, printed my pieces, and I have them set up, ready to go. And I am going to be using um, this cotton material um, for the trench coat. And then I will line it um, with a different fabric. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start cutting out the coat. Now, what I did first was I did iron part of the fabric um, it's been sitting for quite some time, the fabric. And I'm going to um, cut out the pattern. So I ironed it. I ironed the fabric to make it easier um, for it to lay flat. So we're going to do that. So I have a tool that's called a um, pattern notcher. Um, I'm sorry, my printer decided it was going to talk. So this is a pattern notcher. And what I'm going to do is um, where you see the indications of like the little triangles, I'm going to notch those pieces out and that will allow me to um, mark my fabric. So what I do is I take the notcher and I just place the triangle. There's a little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, there's a little piece right there. And I place that where the mark is, where the little triangle is, and then I just squeeze and it notches out the pattern. I'm also going to do it here for my center front line so that I'll be e I'll easily be able to mark the center front line. So as you see, I've notched my markings, plus I've also notched where I need a full line. I'm sorry, my dog has decided he wants to work. All right, I have my pattern weights. 
um, we're going to try to do this with the rotary cutter, but these pieces are very small, so we'll have to see. So um, I'm going to take the center back of the coat and it says cut one on the fold. So I folded my pattern, my uh, fabric, and I'm going to place this down. So I'm gonna place it down and I am going to take a couple of these pattern weights and put them down. I don't know why, like I always feel like tossing these down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get my rotary cutter and I use a Martelli rotary cutter it's just i feel gives me a little more control over it um and it comes in both left-handed and right-handed as well as different sizes this one is a 45 millimeter Probably should have tested out my blade. It probably needs to be changed. Um, All right, would have been smart if I had turned my fabric inside out and then I could have marked my notches. So I will just fix that right now. So I have the wrong sides out. So right sides are together and I will take one of my Pilot friction pens and mark my notches. And because this only has a quarter seam allowance, I'm gonna make sure I don't like go over. All right, on that one. And I'm gonna put a B for this is the back. All right, I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. And that's it. So that's the back cut out. And I'm actually going to put right sides together this time. I have way more fabric here than I need. And I'll do the front now. Um, the front says cut to self, self meaning the outside fabric. And it has two pieces and um, they join together like this uh, in what's called a princess seam.
And if I find like this is gonna get in the way, what I'll, the first cut that I'll do is actually this outside one. And then I'll just move the fabric away. And then I can work with just this. And for example, I didn't get close enough on here, so I'll just go back in. You can always take off more, but you can't put it back. Just take my friction pen. I love these Pilot friction pens because just with a touch of the iron, it comes off. All right. And then what I will do is for now, I'm going to... Um, clip this with my little clips together. I have to do the other side first, mark the other side. Only marked one side on this. If I were going to do doll clothes on a regular basis, I would probably look into investing in one of the cutting mats that's actually a rotary, uh, on a rotary um, device. And um, it comes both round and square and quilters uh, use it. Um, and I think that would be great for being able to cut things out easier. Right, I've marked both sides, and you know what? I want to do one additional. It doesn't have a notch here, but I just find it easier if I know my center point. This one should have been this way. All right. I can mark this one in a different color just so I know. I'm thinking about surging these pieces because as you see, it's already starting to fray.
All right. Now the collar. It says cut two of self. And I'm following the fact that this is the grain line. And you can tell that it runs the same direction as the selvage. So I'm going to make sure that it's placed properly. All right. And at the same time, these are the epaulets. Um, I think I'm saying that right. And this one says to, they call it a flap, but um, it says to cut four. This piece, this piece is what you see right here. So I'll be doing that over here. But first, let me do this one. Mark these little dots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a hole through the pattern piece. And then I can mark the holes. I'll turn this over, turn this over. wondering I have a small little cutter let's see if that would be useful coming around this corner actually yes okay That's one set, and I'll have to cut this out again. That worked pretty well. these pieces are so tiny.
Now I have a belt loop and tabs to cut, but I think I'm gonna wait on that until I'm actually closer to actually using them because um, since this fabric is fraying so easily, I just am afraid that we cutting them out and leaving them hanging around for a while, um, they'll just fray completely. So now I have four of them. I'll just clip them. So now I have to do a lining and wait. So I decided to use this fabric, um, which is like fake uh, snakeskin. It's it's a cotton um, for the lining of the trench coat and the lining of the hat. So I have to cut out two of these and one of these, um, I'll also have to cut them out in interfacing. So the, this has worked well going around the, the, the inside curves. Um, should hold that down. Kind of liking it. I'll link it below. It's just um, Fiskar um, 18 millimeter rotary cutter. Yeah, so this is why I would love to have some kind of rotary, you know, revolving device. And I've seen them, like I said, quilters use them. All right, let's see what color see if this will show up on here otherwise I'll have to see if I can find a different color mm, it'll be good enough for me okay let me turn it over yeah I can see them This will be big enough, but we'll try it. Yep. Okay. Now this, because it's so small, I think I'm going to pin it. And I'll definitely use the little rotary cutter. Or 
that was easy. Yep, I am liking this. So I have the four pieces that need um, interfacing. This is SF101, which has a smooth side, and then the other side, you can feel the glue. Um, so I'm going to cut out um, the pieces that need to be cut out. Now, I want to be careful because this is wrinkled, um, and I can't iron it because it has glue on it. Um, I suppose I could get a piece of fabric, um, put it on top, and then recut, but I'm not going to do that. So this says cut one interfacing. So this is the collar. So I'm going to put this down. All right, so now we've cut out all the ones for the interfacing and we're gonna go iron them. All right, all of my pieces are cut out. Um, I went ahead and remarked the ones that I needed to remark. Um, and we're going to sew um on a live but i will also uh put it up afterwards all right all right that is the end of cutting out the apple tote and company um, Berkshire coat, or as I know it, a trench coat, and for the American Girl doll, or other 18-inch doll, and um, I will be uh, working on the trench coat on a live, um, which um, will be posted by the time you see this. However, I'm because I have to make two of um, everything, I will be recording again 
the making of the trench coat in um, more detail. And if you are not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I post a video, please make sure you turn on the notification bell. And if you um, appreciated and liked this video, I would um, love it if you could give it a thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you so much.